Good morning. It is 6.09 a.m. and I am going to the office. This is so dark, there's no way you're gonna be able to see me. I just wanted to say good morning and that I'm headed to the office. And I also wanted to say that I have an IKEA kitchen exam today. Oi. My car has been standing for a few days. It does not appreciate that. So yeah, the IKEA kitchen exam, it has like, it's basically you're having to handle a fictitious, fictive? Fake, a fake customer. And based on your handling of that customer, you either pass or fail. And it's not like you can lose your job or anything if you fail, but if you pass, you get a higher salary. Your salary, hourly salary increases by one, well, basically the equivalent of a dollar. So eight, eight kroner every hour, as long as you're working with something kitchen related and I really hope I pass. I know the fail grade is really high, so I can't say for sure. I know I'm good at my job. I don't just know if I, I just don't know if I check all the boxes, you know? Hey guys, it's a few hours later and I finished work. And I actually didn't end up having that kitchen exam today after all because things were just too busy. So it is expone, postponed, not exponed, postponed until uh, I'm back from vacation at least. So at least a couple of weeks, which honestly I am very, very okay with. And that also means if I'm lucky, I'm going to be able to do that while I'm at home instead of sitting in an open landscape and have that exam, which just makes me feel a lot better about the whole thing. So, uh, I'm on my way home now. I just started, uh, or just stopped by Ikea to pick up a gift card because I'm going to France for a wedding and they wanted a an Ikea gift card for their wedding present. So that's what I'm going to get. And then I'm gonna stop by the mall and I'm gonna pick up a card of some sort because I don't know if I'm gonna be in this area before I leave because that is next Wednesday. So um, I was supposed to work from the office tomorrow but because I ended up having union stuff most of the day, I am gonna be working from home instead of going into the office because I'm just gonna be sitting in a meeting for at least three and a half of the seven and a half hours I'm working. So I asked if it was a possibility for me to just be at home and it was, which is so great because that also means I'm not gonna be sitting in traffic for like hours tomorrow, which is great. Hello, I'm on my way home from the mall. But I just got a iced pumpkin spice latte with two pumps of pumpkin spice like I always get from Starbucks during the fall. And I am gonna enjoy this on my way home. The last day of this vlog is the day that I go to France and I'm so excited. Home sweet home. Good morning. I am tired. Yesterday, I finally got these Umbraco things. Still not sure what these are in English. Um, for the pedestal that I bought so I can finally fix the, the thing. Because <laughs> it is all wobbly. So I'm just gonna take off all of the plants that I have on there. And that, this is what it looks like. And it has some screws underneath these kind of shelves and then some other ones underneath here. And I'm gonna tighten them both. So this little thing has two different umbrellas.
you can kind of see how wobbly this is on the stand. bought wall glue yesterday which is wallpaper glue so I can finally put the wallpaper into my bookshelves today and put them into place so that I can clean up a little bit more here um, there's just two shelves per bookshelf and I think that's not enough so I might have to buy more but for now at least that's gonna work just fine I'm so happy to be working from home today. <sighs> and then I also have some plants that should be watered, but I'm trying to time it out so that I can do that um, later since I leave on Wednesday and I'm not coming back until Monday. Okay, I have my lunch break and I wanted to see if I could put up one of the wallpaper things. This is the wall glue that I have. Hopefully this is gonna work. It's not the same wall glue that they recommend because they recommend from their own line. So I'm just gonna try it on one of these and then we'll just see how it goes. So this is supposed to be or when you do those, you're supposed to apply this directly to the wall, which for me is the backboard. And then with a brush, no, with the roller, but I don't have a roller, I have a brush, I'm gonna use a brush. So I have this brush, and then I have this spackle thing that I can use to remove the air bubbles. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna put this down onto the ground with the back down so that we can cover the inside in glue, and then we're gonna try to do the wallpaper. I think this is going to be pretty cool, actually. I don't think I'm going to worry about getting this exact. So, yeah. Here we are. I didn't line it up, as you can probably see, but honestly, I don't care. And then there's this little piece right here that I should probably cut off. Or not. This is the bottom, so it doesn't really matter, but... Yeah. You're not gonna see that anyway. I think this is gonna be nice. And then obviously this whole wall is going to be those book bookshelves. I'm going to see if I have time to do another one. I have a meeting in 15 minutes. This is bookshelf number two. If I have extra, I might do the bottom here as well. Hi! And then I have the small one and the big one left in this paper. Hi! Hmm. My lunch break is just a couple of minutes from being over so I am gonna head upstairs to my meeting and I'm gonna put in a couple of the bookshelves, like the actual shelves, just to see what it's like. All right, I honestly I think this is gonna be good. It's a little bit matchy with the roof, it's a little bit matchy with my little poof and yeah. I think this is going to be really nice. I just have to paint everything and get up all of these shelves along the side here and I think it's going to be nice.
not quite sure what happened here and at the bottom. This was just cut a little bit too short, but it's okay. It's also a little bit out of center, but once I put things in there, it's not gonna matter. All of the bookshelves are done. I have some cleaning up to do and I gotta see if I can do something about my brush to get the glue off. But that feels nice. I think it's gonna look really good. I think I wanna put the wallpaper on this bottom here as well so I actually think I'm gonna do that right now because I can just use one of the shelves as a template I have quite a lot of left on this roll this is 10 meters or it was guys I am gonna put down the um, wallpaper on the bottom of the shelves so I have a brush for the glue I have pre-cut all the strips to the right size okay I'm not sure how this angle is but we're gonna see if we can do something I picked up this Monstera Variegata and it's time for me to chop it up a little bit and sell some of it off because I need to get some of my money back from this plant so I have a newly washed knife and I'm gonna be keeping this top cutting for myself and as well as the bottom and then I'm gonna be cutting off everything else so this is the top cutting with these two leaves that I'm going to be keeping for myself and then I'm going to be chopping this one, this one, this one, this one, and also this bottom one. And then I'm going to have the one bottom leaf left for myself. So this one has already been chopped once right above this leaf right here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's right here. And there is a new growth point there, which is what I wanted to double check before I cut it. If I hadn't found a new growth point there, I would have cut it above this tiny leaf right here. This is the first leaf that came in after the um, first chop. So this is kind of terrifying because I'm a little bit afraid of what if I don't get to sell it, but also I kind of know that it will sell. So, okay, I guess we're just gonna do it. So this is the first one. I 
I should probably have had a sharper knife, but this is the cutting that I'm keeping for myself. I'm obviously going to let this sit and uh, cow this over for a few hours probably. You can see this white streak right here in this stem. It's insane and it's going to grow a new one from here. Um, maybe if I'm lucky and then also from this top leaf the is just going to keep growing up. So this is for me. This is the other one with this giant of an aerial root. So pretty. This one also has this huge, huge, huge aerial root. And then this pot with this last leaf is going to stay here with me as well as the top cutting with the two leaves on it. All right, here are all the chops. I think these two leaves are pretty, the ones that I'm keeping, but I think in all honesty, this is my favorite. This is so pretty. Hey guys, I'm about to go out and meet a friend, so I just took a shower. I'm gonna slap some makeup on my face, and then I'm gonna leave. We're just gonna go to get some bubble tea, because uh, this place is open pretty late, and she had a um, gastro... whatever that... Uh, what's the word? Weight loss surgery is. Um, so she can't drink... So we're gonna go get some bubble tea instead and chat because we haven't spoken in a while. My hair is a mess back here. Sometimes I'm considering just chopping it all off like that up to here like I had. Bubble tea was really nice and we're gonna head out to go bowling. They have disco bowling on Saturdays. And it's like a set price to bowl as long as you like from 9 o'clock until they close at 3. What can you do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Okay, I'm home, I have some food, and I'm gonna finish watching this episode of Sex Education that I started watching before I left. Just started season three. I've been binging. <laughs> Good morning. We woke up from water dripping from our ceiling onto the floor of the second floor today. 
So we're gonna get our insurance involved and everything because apparently, well, something is not tight as it should be and there is water coming through the roof and into the attic and then dripping down into our second floor. If you can hear that dripping sound behind me, that's what it is. Hi! So we have insurance, both home buyer's insurance and also a regular house insurance. So we're gonna reach out to our insurance and see what we can do about it. Um, it hasn't been an issue until now, but it's been raining for a week straight and it's not supposed to stop yet. Hi! So we'll see what happens about that. I'm obviously going to France on Wednesday, so after that there's not much I can do about it. Um, apart from like, I can be on the phone and stuff if it's necessary. Um, so we'll just see. Since it's the roof, we want to get it finished before winter comes around, wherever it is. Um, so we got a couple of ideas from our parents of things that could be wrong. So we'll see if that's actually what it is. One of the things um, is supposedly a pretty easy and not too expensive fix. Um, but we'll see what it comes to. Um, I'm gonna sit down and edit my vlog from last week. Hi! And, um, yeah, not a great Sunday surprise for us having a leak, but you can only do the best thing about it. Okay, it's time for me to make some food, so I just have some tofu. And I cut one of these into four. I'm gonna do the same with the other one. And then I'm just gonna fry it up in a pan with some of this sauce that I made. We got food, just a sandwich. And then I just have some sparkling water and I'm gonna be watching some more sex education. Good morning, good morning. I'm working late today, so I am gonna start off my Monday morning with some freelance work, as I always do. Uh, usually when I go on vacation, if you haven't seen my... Well, I've talked about it a lot in this vlog as well. Um, <clears throat> I am going to France in two days. And... Usually when I'm on vacation, I still do the freelance work, but this time I actually have completely off um, from, ooh, from Wednesday to Monday. I don't have to do anything, which is really weird because I've been doing this for two and a half years now for the same client. And um, it's actually the second longest job I've ever had, which is kind of crazy. So like I said, I'm going to France on Wednesday and I'm gonna cut this vlog a little bit differently. So it's going to be up until Tuesday for this vlog instead of Wednesday. And then I'm gonna have Wednesday to Monday, I think, in a separate vlog. I think that's an easier way to do it. And then I can have a dedicated France vlog. Anyway, I just have some coffee here. I'm gonna put on sex education. I'm almost finished with it, which is so sad. Uh, but I'm gonna put on sex education while I work. I sold a cutting from my Monstera elbow and I was planning on going to the post with it, but it just like the sky opened up. So that's not gonna happen. It's raining so hard. <laughs> And then I found my two candles, maple caramel and pumpkin caramel. 
Marius doesn't like the smell of these, so I've been saving them for us to my, get to my own room. We booked tickets to Jimmy Carr in Lillehammer in June, I think it was. And it was going to be so fun. We watched his specials on Netflix and stuff. We were also going to see Gabriel Iglesias or Fluffy. And we had tickets for that in like 2020 and then obviously it was postponed uh, first until 2021 and then again until 2022. So next year we're finally going to be seeing him again. We saw him also a few years ago when he was in Oslo. And Jimmy Carr we have not seen before but he is apparently doing a full like Norway tour which is going to be fun. So he is in Oslo as well but he's in Oslo on a Wednesday and also Oslo is kind of meh to go to because we were driving and stuff like that. So we decided to go to Lillehammer instead. It's a two and a half hour drive, but it's fine. We can book a hotel if we want to, but Mary said that he would rather just drive home at night. So I guess that's the plan. Good morning. I am headed out to mail the Monstera Varigata cutting that I sold yesterday. So I'm just gonna post this and then I'm gonna go work. I am on my lunch break and I'm going to France tomorrow and I'm gonna be gone for almost a week. So I'm gonna make sure that my plants have water enough for when I come back. So I'm just gonna go around with my little moisture meter and just double check that my plants aren't going to be dying from drought while I'm gone. Some of them I have watered already because I could feel it and then some of them I'm not sure if the heaviness is water or if it's just roots. So we're gonna poke. <laughs> These ones I think are fine. Maybe this one because this is just a lot of bark. Yeah this needs some water um these ones both the syngonium i watered yesterday i'm gonna refill the leka and then monkey mask dry needs some water um this one i just watered this one is also good I think I'm gonna give this water just in case since these like more moisture anyway um, I think my string of pearls are gonna be fine until I get back and I think my string of hearts is gonna need some water and then this one I watered yesterday. I watered this one yesterday. Alocasia needs some water as well. And then this one, this is so pretty. This is like my new obsession right here. I think this is also fine. And then this one, I also have a smaller pot for this one because you can see this is way too big. Oh yeah, this is wet. So this can stay. I watered this one, I think. Oh no, I took a leaf. This is dry. I watered this not too long ago, but it was very dry when I watered it, so I probably drank it out. I think this is gonna be fine though. Maybe I'll just give it a little bit from the bottom. And then this one I watered yesterday. This is dry. 
I think I'm gonna give this some water too. And this one I gave water to yesterday, so they should be fine. Yeah. And this is dry, this definitely needs some water. Yeah. And then my Syngonium also needs some water. I'm trying to get it to attach to the wall. And then this one I watered yesterday. Look at this tiny little leaf. This is so cute. <laughs> um, Begonia, I think I watered this too pretty recently. These don't like to dry out, so I might have to give this some more water before I go. Yeah, I'm gonna give this some water as well. This one is fine. This one I watered before, but this is also dry. So this is also getting some more water. This one I also watered yesterday. This is bone dry, so this is definitely gonna need some more water. And then this one, this is full of roots. So it does say moist. Yeah, this is fine. And this is fine. And I'm gonna water this one. This one is fine. Yeah. Cool. I am just gonna let these sit here a while I take the rest of my lunch and then I'm gonna move them out after. And change out the plants for the other ones that need water.